Hello, a little tutorial today. We will uh, teach you how to use Car Dealer Pro to list auctions to eBay. This is a question that I, I've received a few times uh, since I started listing a bunch of auctions to eBay and specifically using Car Dealer Pro. It's actually really easy once you once you get all of your settings set up, but that's the hurdle that many people have uh, in getting started, uh, because there are some settings you, you have to do create, uh, some templates to get started. So I'm going to walk you through that. Uh, I am going to use Chicago Cubs cards some duplicates from my collection. Uh, they are already scanned in AI has identified them. So basically I'm just going to walk you through how to get these sent to eBay, uh, and, uh, list eBay auctions using car dealer pro. So I'm going to bring up my car dealer pro homepage. Uh, so this is what uh, your homepage will look like over at Car Dealer Pro. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, you have your home, batches, inventory, and we're going to click on connections, all right? So you have your eBay listing template over here. You're going to want to click on the wheel, and that's going to bring up connection settings. Now, under eBay listing template, you'll have export templates, which is what we will click on. And that brings up your listing templates. As you can see, I just have a couple listing templates here. Uh, we're going to create a new template. So I'm going to walk you through this. So this is how, this is where you go to create an auction template that you'll send to eBay. Over here on the right-hand side, add new listing template. So we're going to call this Cubs Auctions for Video, just so we know which, uh, which template we're using. So Cubs Auctions for Video is our, our template name. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. eBay category number, obviously sports trading cards. If you're watching this video and you're scanning and you're using Cardi the Pro, it's most likely you're going to be using sports trading card singles. Uh, we're not going to use a custom store category. You can do that. It's optional, obviously. Uh, we're not going to do that. Listing type, of course, we're doing an auction. So what's our starting price going to be? I run my auctions 99 cents. So all of my auctions will be a starting bid of 99 cents. Of course, you can set that to whatever you wish. I am not going to enable buy it now. I don't like, this is a personal choice. I don't like uh, enabling buy it now on auctions. I'm just going to let the market dictate it. The auction market dictate the price. So we're just going to disable the buy it now. Duration, I set everything to seven days for the most part. So this is going to be seven day auctions. Now listing schedule. Do you want to make this live immediately or do we want to schedule a start time? I'm going to schedule these. I want these to run later tonight. I try to run auctions almost every night of the week. So we're going to schedule this for tonight. Uh, today is November 15th. Uh, make sure you watch, keep an eye on this date because it will default uh, to the last time you set something up. So this is November 15th. So we are correct on the right day. We're going to set the time. This is in Eastern Standard Time. So uh, since I am on the in the Midwest, I'm on Central Time. So I'm going to want to go 8 p.m. So I'm going to start these at uh, 7.30 my time, 8.30 uh, Eastern Time. You can go down to the second. So we're going to do 8.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, now, you can also set for all. So you can have all of these auctions start at 8.30 Eastern time, or you can stagger them. And this goes down, you can drill it down to the second. We're not going to do that. We're going to do uh, minutes and we're just going to do one. So every minute, a new auction will begin out of this batch we're going to upload. Now, I don't have a SKU for this. I do have a SKU, but I'm going to set that up. Uh, I've already set that up in my, uh, in, in my template that I've already uploaded. So uh, we're not going to enable that. So now here's your shipping settings. My shipping settings, we're going to go eBay standard envelope. These are all singles that uh, will likely sell for less than $20. Handling time, I always go three days. That's my default handling time. Uh, now for auctions, I do not do free shipping. Again, that's you know personal preference. Uh, but for auctions, I do charge for shipping and I charge 99 cents. So let's do 99 cents. I don't know if the each additional item price will translate over to eBay. I've, I've messed around with it. I don't think it works, but I'm not positive. So don't take my word for it. So I'm going to each night I send invoices out manually after each, uh, after the auctions end for the night. So I'm just going to keep it 99 cents. Uh, I'm not going to require immediate payment because many of my buyers buy multiple auctions. I don't want 
somebody bidding on 17 auctions and paying them 17 different times. And then that also uh, adds 30 cent transaction fees each time. So we're not going to enable immediate payment. Item location, of course, this is going to depend on your location. I am in Madison, Wisconsin, 53717. Uh, return settings, I do accept returns. I'm going to do 30 days and money back. Shipping is paid by the buyer on return. So there's your settings. Pretty simple. And we go to save changes. So now we've got Cubs auctions for video all set up. So now we have that. Now, how do you get them over to eBay? Click on batches over here on the left side of your screen. I've already got this batch ready to go. These are my Cubs auctions. It's going to be tab 29.0. So here's my, my Cubs. I've already added my SKU over here. I added uh, 29.0 in my SKU. Uh, I have already uh, checked the AI on all of these. So there's uh, 38 auctions. So now this is also another tripping point for people trying to upload auctions to eBay using Car Dealer Pro. Now we're ready. You go to export. Be careful because what's your default setting? My default setting is buy it now. Most of the time using Car Dealer Pro, I am doing buy it now. So you got to make sure when you hit the export button, you have eBay. Your default settings are going to be buy it now. So that's going to default to all of your buy it now settings. We don't want that. Here over here, the little button, we click. Bow settings, those are my, that's my default buy it now. We want Cubs auctions for video because these are set up for tonight. Now you can also change it. Uh, you can go in like, oh, I decided I want to do five day auctions or whatever. I'm going to start these at 9.30 instead of 8.30. So you can go in and change it at this point also. So we just set this up. So I'm going to save changes. Now we click the export again. Boom, eBay, Cubs auctions for video. We are set to export. We're going to export without review because I've already reviewed and there's 29.0 already up there. So let's go into our eBay settings and you click on this tab. So uh, you go right here under reports, you go to uploads and that's where you upload it. Of course, if you're using Car Dealer Pro, you already have this down. We want to upload our 29.0. Here we go. So it's going to upload 29.0, and these will be scheduled to begin tonight at 8.30 Eastern Time, 7.30 Central. eBay is uploading these 38 auction items. It's completed. We don't have any errors, none failed, and we are good to go. And that, my friends, is how you upload auctions using Car Dealer Pro. Hit the like button, subscribe, and thank you for watching.